everybody, it's me, your Star Wars dad. Please consider liking and subscribing. It will benefit your family and friends for years to come. Okay, the question on everyone's mind. I've been asked several times, what's up with the new Conquest? I'm starting to get to a point in Hard Conquest where I can really perform, and it'll get even better as I get more farther in the game. But am I going for Admiral Trench? And let's look at a few places to answer this question. You know, am I going to go get all the red crates? Am I going to uh, go for, uh, you know, paying for them in the scavenger shop? Try to unlock Admiral Trench as fast as possible. So we start here with Admiral Trench, and, and I believe that he's going to be, he would be a really good addition to my roster. I, I have uh, several Separatists on my team, and, and I think he's easily the best Separatist leader among them. If you look at my roster, I've got a Relic Asajj Ventress. I could add a few levels to her. i got a Relic Jango Fett. Who doesn't he, he fits in sometimes to a bounty hunter team, sometimes not. I, I kind of mishmash him sometimes. I got Count Dooku, who I could get to relic fairly quickly. Newt Gunray the same way. He's gear 12. Watt Tambor, I'm going to be getting to relic levels for Jedi Master Kenobi. I guess the same thing for Django Fett. I'm going to be relicking these guys for Jedi Master Kenobi. So, number one, Admiral Trench would fit, fit really well on my roster with his leadership abilities. Um, with his, you know, with, uh, what, what's that, what's the ability called here? Um, tactical supremacy for everybody, uh, it, with his unique, he's just going to be a really good, a really good leader for these separatists. Now, one thing to note on Admiral Trench is he is a territory war Omicron kind of guy. Now that kind of backs off a little bit for me, like, I like that, but I don't usually spend a lot of Omicrons, and you need one. I think it's it's two, right? Is it two Omicrons for territory? There's two. Is there another one here somewhere? Okay, I think it, yeah. So it's two Territory Wars Omicron. No, three. There's three Territory Wars Omicrons. Now, my guild is, uh, we're going to call it a mid-tier guild, and which is kind of where I am. I'm a mid-game kind of guy right now with my accounts. So we're at 260, 270 million, somewhere in that range. We tend to win territory wars. I think over the course of two years, we've lost three times total ever. We beat most guilds in territory wars. So is this something I need to go and spend three Omicrons on to improve my territory wars as the focus of the account? That is going to be a solid no right now. I, I, so I like Admiral Trench as far as what he can do for these characters really for me in Grand Arena. Can I have another whole Grand Arena team with these Separatist characters with Admiral Trench? I believe the answer is yes. For Territory Wars, it comes out as a no for me, as a no. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Conquest and talk about this for a minute. Of course, to get Admiral Trench for the first time, you know, immediately, and you can get him down the road too, whatever. But to get him immediately, you'd have to do these three of these red crates, and then you'd have to purchase him in the Java scavenger shops. Arnold just made a video about it. Just go watch Arnold. He gives you all the details. You have to buy him in these scavenger shops every time he comes up. Well, where am I with some other farms, whatever, whatever else is going on with my roster, what's happening there? Um, let's talk about something I've been working on with Conquest, and a lot of you guys know this. It's my Sith Empire. It's Darth Malgus. I was, when Darth Malgus came out, I was still in normal Conquest at the time. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't able to get all those Darth Malgus shards. And if I had been in hard Conquest when Darth Malgus came out, I would have been all in. I would have invested my time in Conquest. I would have really pushed for it, really, really made the extra effort. But right now, with Darth Malgus, I'm 205 out of 330 shards. I need to keep getting these, getting 20 to 25 of these or more every time Conquest comes out. So if I get 20 this time and 20 next time, if I get 60 this time around, I'll be at 265. And that would put me somewhere in like March or April, I guess, when we finish these three conquests. And that's about the time that Malgus is going to flip over to Proving Grounds, somewhere in that May region. So if I'm sitting at 265, 270, maybe 280 when we go to Proving Grounds, I'll just need another three months to unlock them. And to me, I think that's going to be my focus still. I am going to focus on Darth Malgus I'm going to have to get Trench down the road. You know, the thing about these Conquest characters is if you weren't in that initial, if you weren't in the initial Hard Conquest when it first came out, the very first Hard Conquest, what was it, uh, maybe a, a year a year and eight, nine months ago, whatever it is, then you're behind the ball. You just, you're, if you were not in the initial Hard Conquest, 
You are behind the ball. You got to make some choices about what you're prioritizing, what you're moving forward, what you're, what you're pulling back on, what you're really going for. So right now, I'm going to remain focused on Darth Malgus and getting him unlocked from my roster because he falls into that just below Galactic Legend here. He turns a Sith Empire team, which you can see that I need. I need the Sith Empire team to be elevated because it's difficult for me right now to take time out of my day and take time out of my, out of my farming to, to gear up and relic up like a Sith Empire trooper. That's going to cost me a couple weeks for Jedi Master Kenobi, and I'm already spending time on other characters like I'm working on Savage, I'm working on my Sith Triumvirate. There's a lot of things to farm. And so when I look at it, I'm going to be getting trench shards, that's for sure. I'm going, I, I really feel like he's going to benefit my roster in the, the future when I'm able to unlock him. So he's probably, as far as I'm concerned with Conquest characters, he's number two on my list right now, uh, Admiral Trench is. But I'm looking at a six to nine months. I'm looking at a six to nine month farm where I'm going to get the best crate I can right now to unlock those shards. I will, I'm going to work on a red crate. I just don't know if I can get the red. I think I'll probably end up in the gold range as far as Conquest goes and, and getting, getting, uh, getting uh, Admiral Trench. So there you go, guys. Am I farming Admiral Trench? I'm not going after it hard this time. I'm waiting for the opportunity. You know, once I once we get through this round, I'm waiting for that character to pop up that's really going to just just be like the perfect feeder for my roster. Right now, Malgus is that guy. What if we get like a first order lifter guy? You know, I, what if we get that character sometime soon? What if we get a Sith Eternal lifter and, and I'm going up and I, I could get Sith Eternal fairly easily. It wouldn't be that difficult on my roster to unlock Sith Eternal. What if, what if we get that? What if we get something that would make the uh, the executor even better or the negotiator better? I'm looking for that kind of stuff, and then I would really dig in and just, just bang it out. But right now, guys, I really need to continue to focus on Malgus. He's going to be the, a, a guy that really brings me up as, as a mid-game player. I realize end-game players are going for it. As a mid-game player, when I unlock Malgus, some things are going to change for me, specifically in Grand Arena, because I am a Grand Arena focus kind of guy that's all we got to say everybody let me know if you're going for a trench or what you're working on conquest because it's difficult to manage these priorities when you did not start in the original hard conquest you start at the beginning of conquest and you were already sitting there with a big roster you can max out every crate it's not that super difficult but let me know what's going on with you what you're doing uh that's all i got for today i'll talk to you soon always remember you're too good